look at this freaking masterpiece of reef aquarium uh, engineering, growing, aquascaping. This tank has virtually everything going for it. It's just like, it's just the most videogenic reef tank. One of the most videogenic reef tank I've ever seen in my life. Um, this thing looks so great on camera, really true to life. And um, so as I mentioned in the previous video, there's no one here. Um, actually, the owners are here, but they're uh, in some other rooms. And um, so I'm going to have to kind of wing this tank about what I know about it. And um, so I don't know all the details and specifics, but really, um, this tank speaks for itself. So I'm just going to try to do a little quick overview of this tank. Maybe not so quick. And uh, show you what, uh, how this tank runs and especially some of the uh, standout animals in this tank that really, really catch my attention. God, I can't even, I cannot get over like just how awesome this aquascape is. Whoever put this together really, really crushed it. And um, you can actually see it from three sides. So it's a peninsula style reef tank that's actually set up as a room divider, divider um, into kind of a conference room over there. So we'll go over there and take a look as well. But let's do a rundown of some of the basic equipment that makes this tank run. So if you're eagle-eyed, you probably have already spotted that for two thirds of the tank, it's um, actually T5s. And on the other end of the tank, there are two uh, Radeon XR30 Pros, Gen 4s, just absolutely gorgeous. You know, T5s really do the job of growing SPS corals, really getting that light filled. But subjectively, objectively, um, the Radeon side is just, it's got more pop, it's a little bit brighter, um, and especially those pinks and purples. Those pinks and purples that we tend to expect from, from T5 lights, um, they look really good over here, but on this side, um, they're just really much better complemented by the oranges, by the greens, by the blues. Just really, really awesome presentation. So that is the light on this tank, and it looks like it got those things completely dialed in. Now the sump, so this tank is actually was moved, um, I wanna say like four or five months ago. So they're still kind of ironing out some of the, uh, the kinks of the initial setup. And um, the sump has not been uh, super duper optimized like they have in some of their fish system because uh, this is a display tank. And uh, so yeah, this tank is, uh, the sump on this thing is actually super simple. I really don't see too much. Um, we've got a couple filter socks there in the drain. Uh, no roller mat in this tank, and you can kind of see it, it does result in uh, you know, a good bit of detritus here. But uh, not even their biggest NIOS uh, quantum skimmer on, running on this tank, but also you can see it's full of skim eight. The, the corals look um, pretty well fed, still got that pastel -y color. And then it looks like we have a closed loop um, uh, provided probably by a Vectra L1. And we'll take a look at the water flow inside the tank. And this is one of their uh, Viper pumps here, and I'm not sure where exactly that's going, but it's probably feeding something important. Now this giant <laughs> kind of not so clean chamber is um, their dosing. So we've got some, uh, some calcium chloride on the left, a huge reservoir of buffer in the middle, and I'm gonna guess that that right chamber, which appears to be empty, is for the magnesium. And um, <laughs> without anyone here, I can, I can guess that they're dosing uh, NIOS active elements. So that's your trace element supplement, active iodine for iodine, active strontium to uh, really get ensure that good stony coral growth. And here's a behind the look, uh, behind the scenes look at uh, the wiring for this particular system. And one thing that I, um, I spotted right before I did this video is there's these three pipes right here that lead, lean, um, lead to the reservoir. So you can do this. So this is a control center. Once again, we have a, a lot of switches for accessing some of the important parts of the tank. We've got the tank controllers, or the pump controllers here. Um, it looks like they're using the uh, Aquamedic uh, doser. No, sorry, there's a doser for Aquamedic right there, the lead doser Evo 4. But here is the uh, water level indicators I was telling you about that they were able to create using those pipes coming from the reservoir. So that's quite a, kind of involved to get for um, just to see what's in your reservoirs. 
But I imagine that when this thing is completely finished, it's going to be really, really keen. So really cool to see. So while we're on this side of the tank, let's take a look at some of the um, kind of the standout livestock of the aquarium. I'm gonna start with the fish because I always overlook the fish. I'm usually like kind of out of breath by the, by the end of the video. So right on cue is one of my favorite animals here and that's a Timor wrasse going a little bit too fast for me to capture. It's not um, an expensive fish, but it's almost like halfway to a Leonard's wrasse and um, really, really love these guys. They have an interesting checkerboard pattern of a green body with kind of yellow, orange uh, squares, I guess, on the side. So that's a really good looker. And a related fish is that uh, Christmas rest. Where'd he go? I'm not sure where he is right now, but I know I've got some B-roll to stick in here. And um, so that one is actually really beautiful. Again, a very common fish, um, but like any other uh, good quality fish, when you get it healthy and happy, it, um, it, they just look really, really nice. Lots of colors. And speaking of colors, these anthias, they've got a purple queen anthias here, and just a small school of squammy pinnus anthias that are hiding a little bit right now, probably because it's a, a day off and they're not, not hanging out. And I think there's a Smith Vanazai anthias back there. Just so, a really modest selection of fish to really accent the corals. So if you're watching this video for the first time, the second time, and maybe the fifth time, um, one thing that you'll see is not only is there a huge diversity of colors, but there's a, a lot of play on shapes. You know, I think if this was my tank, I would have uh, grouped a lot of the similar corals together a lot more, but the way they've actually mixed and matched the corals in this tank is probably a lot more natural and really gives it that interesting, engaging look where you have you know, kind of a blunt-tipped uh, bird's nest, Caliandrum bird's nest, right next to an Acropora. And those things just look really, really awesome together. And right there, another one you can see is the corn cob style acro, some stylophora, a couple stag horns. And uh, man, the, just the use of like a blunt-shaped uh, Pavona maldivensis here, probably one of my favorite corals in this tank, one of the most beautiful I've ever seen too, uh, right next to this super sharp and wiry uh, bird's nest coral. Really, really awesome. I can't, I can't uh, get past just calling this reef tank awesome because it just looks so good. But again, there's nothing, nothing crazy or fancy or sophisticated about this reef. You know, sometimes people go all out with a, a lot of equipment, a lot of bells and whistles. But this is an awesome, awesome example of the kind of reef that you can set up um, just by practicing basic uh, reef aquarium uh, fundamentals. So let's take a closer look at some of the standout corals in this tank. Uh, from this point of view is a nice big pink millipora acropora and a nice bright green poslopora next to another pink milli next to um, the uh, famous European uh, Milka stylophora. Really awesome specimen. And um, over here is a, probably an acropora cerealis. This has a beautiful purple margin but then a nice yellow green tip on top. And um, it's flanked by a nice a uh, purple rim uh, Capricornus, Monty Cap, another super sharp bird's nest acro, and man, that style offer right there with the, the tiny green tips is really, really pretty. The colors in this tank is totally, totally uh, on point, about as beautiful as you could expect them to be. And uh, this is one of the things that actually makes the aquascape for me, just like this nice channel to help divide the, uh, the two bombies. So we've got one discrete bombie over here, almost completely covered in coral. And then over here is a little bit more of a traditional reefscape. But again, not too much rock. So there's still uh, a lot of room for placement of corals. And you can see there's just like an absolute coral nursery, a coral garden up here, just almost nearly filled with monoporas growing right up to the top. Really awesome uh, use of shapes and colors. And um, you know, polyp extension is uh, as good as you could expect it to be. Um, super awesome, a little bit pastel colors, but not too far, not too far. So this is a really nice blend of um, the colors you get from the T5 and the colors you get from the Radeon G4. And um, not too, uh, too different, that they can't be used together. That's another thing that I like about this tank. There's a little bit of a different appearance on one side and the other, but it still looks really, really awesome. 
All right, you guys, I have a confession to make. Um, I may have gone to uh, the summertime Oktoberfest in Stuttgart last night. And had an absolute blast. My voice is nearly shot. I am so freaking tired. So I'm gonna cheat now, but you're gonna like this hack. We're gonna finish up this video with just some eye candy, okay? We're just gonna put some eye candy. We're gonna do some close-ups of some of my favorite corals, um, show you the entire reef tank, and uh, I really hope, there's no, there's no way, there's no way you didn't enjoy this video. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. If you never wanna miss a video, hit that bell notification icon so you know when we upload uh, videos of reef tanks and reef places like this. So um, thank you to everyone for tuning in. I will catch you guys on the next time. And please, please, um, you know, just keep on reefing. And, and thank you for the support from, from everybody who's been watching the videos. I've met so many of you in person lately, and it's just really cool and really rewarding to do this for you guys. So uh, enjoy some eye candy of the display tank here at White Corals. And uh, I will see you guys again very soon.